Hey, hi everyone. In this particular video, we are going to learn about that. What are the HTTP status code of the 3XX series? Right now, in this particular video, we are only going to understand those status code which are actually very important are and are most commonly used in your server side or the backend code. Right. So the first we are going to learn about the 301 and then about the 302 and then we are going to learn about the 303 and then 307 right like 303 307 and the 308 right these five status code we are going to learn in this particular lecture so let's start with the 301 now what is this 301 basically 301 means moved permanently you can understand it with the help of word moved perma Nently, right now what does this move permanently mean basically you can think of it like let's say i am trying to access a website right after so long time right i have some kind of url right i have some url uh very like i have used this url very long time before so it is a very old url and i am trying to use it in my website but my website has actually now shifted to some other domain right to other domain which is the new URL so in that particular case what your server does is basically it directly do what it directly move you from the old URL to the new URL right so when you enter like let's say slash old URL old URL so what it will do it will directly take you to the slash new URL right not on this particular old URL. So that is what uh, when this thing works. Basically, it uh, we gives the status code from the server side of three zero one, right? Now let's move forward and let's talk about the three hundred and two, right? Now this three hundred and two means the temporary redirect. Temporary. Don't mind my writing, right? I'm just writing so fast. So temporary redirect. Now, what does this, this mean? Basically, let's say, let me give you an example. You can understand it better. Let's say I'm having my Instagram, right? I'm having my Instagram or I want to change something in my profile, right? But I have not made the login. I have not made the login. I'm directly trying to access my profile and trying to make some changes, right? In that particular case, what will happen when you enter this slash profile? It will redirect you to the login page. It will redirect you to the slash login right you have seen that right many of the time like simply like uh, let's say that you are on a YouTube right and you are trying to uh, click the like button right but you haven't uh, sign in basically so when you click on this like button that is slash like in that particular case it will take you to the slash sign in right so in this case what is happening this temporary redirection of your url and this is what occurs in your 302 status code means you are not completely or the permanently redirect to some other url you are temporarily taken to that particular url and when you uh, make the login and then you try to access it yes you can access it very access it very uh, easily right so yeah this is all about 302 Let's move forward and talk about the 303. What is this? Basically, after a post, uh, you can understand it this way that after the post, the server tells the client that go get another URL for the real result. Right? Like uh, if I tell you the case, uh, use case that is uh, the payment form. Right? After the form submit, it red redirect you to the success page. Right? So basically, after uh, doing something like after post uh, making some post post request uh, you have sent something to the server side right and after making the post request and when the server has made the uh, all the uh, processing of this particular request it if it is get success or failure right either success or failure in that particular case what is happening it is redirecting you to the new url slash new url 
where uh, you can you have seen in the payment app that after when the payment get completes it redirects you to the success page right right where it is written that uh, 10 rupees payment uh, successfully received or debited something right so this is what happens in the 303 status code right yeah now let's move forward now we are going to talk about the 307 what is this 307 basically 307 and 308 right these two are the or what basically they are they are the modern replacement right your 307 is a modern replacement of 302 in the 302 request we are temporarily redirecting to some other address but in this 307 what extra is happening is that the method gets seen method gets same that means if you are making the uh, request of post right in that particular case when it will redirect to you some other uh, address even then your method of the post will be the same right similarly in the 308 it is that modern replacement of your 301 right 301 and here also it, everything is same just one thing that the method gets same got it um, that means if you are making some get request or something else uh, when it redirects to a new url even then also your uh, method will be same that is get got it now this is all about your 3xx series i have explained you every single status code right uh, so i hope you understood the concept very clearly if you do then make sure that you hit the like button and uh, subscribe the channel uh, we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye